Hello YouTubers, this is Robert Risen95. I'm here with a uh, fat pack opening for Innistrad. I figured I was at Wally World and I would get a fat pack. And I got one random pack to make it 10 because my wife's obsessive, compulsive, obsessive compulsiveness has rubbed off on me. So I figured I'd get eight random. If they had one left, I figured, you know, why not take a chance on the besieged? Okay, so let's uh, save the besieged for last. And let's open this. Of course, we all know what's in it, so I don't think I'm going to waste anyone's time. Got your book. Got your thingy, which I'm going to end up putting up on my wall with all my other ones, because... That's just what I do. <laughs> so uh, let's get this out of the way. Okay, fat pack, cardboard. And we got some deck boxes. The Daybreak Ranger and uh, Daybreak Ranger and Grim Grin on them. Put those over here. We got the booster packs and the spin down die. Got the lands and the uh, boosters there. And did I? My god. Oh, wait, no, there they are. I thought I lucked out and didn't get any of those how to play things. <laughs> of course, you got your card box with Leon on it. That is probably one of the coolest card boxes I've seen. Back in the day with the fat packs, they actually used to make it so there were pictures that would line up when you, you put them next to each other and the picture would be the same. It'd be one big, like, mural picture. Um, I think it was in like Lorwyn and Shadowmoor and Eventide and stuff like that. Uh, they don't do that anymore. It'd be kind of cool if they did, but that's that's still pretty cool. We'll use this to put the cards into. So let's get everything get everything uh, going here. Got the nice spin down die with the Innistrad symbol. Cool color. Okay, let's get all these. Looks like I got uh, some more lands to send to people signed when trading. <laughs> I really only use the uh, the Zendikar full art lands most of the time. It's just just nicer. Okay. And we'll save the besieged for last. Okay, let's start with Garrick here. Okay, we'll skip through the commons. To the uncommons, we've got a Bitter Heart Witch. Let me arrange things here. A Grasp of Phantoms. And a Wreath of Geists. And the rare is the Witchbane Orb. Got a Spirit Token, Check Card, and a Tormented Pariah Flip Card. So, next pack. I like getting fat packs. They're nice. The Maw of Hell, a Unburial Rites, got like eight of these now, I think, yeah, two play sets now, uh, Invisible Stalker, and the rare is Falconrath Marauders, and no foil, but we got the random insert card, a Delver of Secrets, Oops, sorry for the glare, Delver of Secrets, and an island. So, 
just land. And so far, I don't think I actually pulled a Witchbane Orb in my uh, booster boxes, but I got two Falcon Wrath Marauders, so now I've got three. So, not really much on vampires, but uh, they can be kind of interesting sometimes. Okay, got a spider spawning. A demon male harbork. Sorry for the camera angle, it just happens to be where my tripod stands. <laughs> and a Morcrit Banshee. And the rare is a back from the brink. So I've got three of those. And a zombie token. It's actually, I really like the art on this. Almost looks like Eddie from Iron Maiden, but not quite. <laughs> uh, check card. And Village Ironsmith slash Iron Fang. Let's see. I got a good Evolder on here. Got a sharpened pitchfork, a boneyard worm, and a silver inlaid dagger. And the rare is Stony Silence. Interesting rare. Yeah, it might be it might be okay in EDH. Uh insert check card. And a crew and outlaw. So now I've got two of them. I had a foil, but I think I sent it to uh, out in a trade. So, but I've got a second crew and outlaw now. So. Got everything all mixed up here. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta do my obsessive compulsive thing. Okay, there we go. Got six. Oh, there's the how to play. Six packs left. Um, yeah, and I'm freaking out in Walmart today. They're doing their Black Friday sales early, like all month early, and uh, people are shopping with their heads in their asses. So, it took me forever just to get to the front where they keep these things. Okay, now we've got a uh, runic repetition. I like the art on that card. It's kind of cool. A Hamlet Captain. And a, another Morcut Banshee. And the rare is a Blasphemous Act. I think I've got three of those now. Got a Demon token. A, oh, looks like there's a, uh, uh, there's a foil. A screeching bat, which turns into a stalking vampire. An island. Uh, get it in frame would help, right? Another island. And a foil one-eyed scarecrow. So. Mausoleum Guard, a Scab Goliath, uh, another Invisible Stalker, and a Grim Grin Corpseborn. Sweet. I was actually looking, looking to get one of these for an EDH general. So I have a couple interesting ideas. A uh, Vampire Token, and a, a Check Card, and hey crew and outlaw so i've got two of those now awesome <laughs> that's kind of cool okay okay got a 
Midnight Haunting. I really like the art in this set. This, this, especially this card right here, Memory's Journey. The art is just so cool, so cool. Uh, Lantern Spirit, and the rare is Elder of Laurels. Now I have a play set, so I have that, and a Spirit Token, and a Check Card, and a Gastaff Shepherd is the flip. Okay, two more after this, one being the Besieged Booster. So far, I'm not too disappointed with anything. I just like all the cards. They're kind of cool. It's, a, it's a, one of the few sets where I actually like all the cards. I haven't liked the set this much since the Alara block, probably, because I really liked the Alara block. Uh, I thought it was nice and creative. Um, that and Ravnica, and the whole Lorwyn Shadowmoor thing. So the card was okay. Some interesting mechanics, but... Made the game too fast. Game shouldn't be fast. Okay, looks like there may be a f no no foil. Uh, got a Hamlet Captain, a Bitterheart Witch, a Purify the Grave, and a Mind Shrieker. Tip card, check card, and a Reckless Waif. Okay. Last Innistrad. And then we got a Besieged. And a Demon Male Hauberk. A Disciple of Grizzlebrand. And a Scourge of Gryer Reach. And the rare is a Stencia Blood Hall. Nice. Homunculus. I had a Homunculus deck in the Alara block. A check card and a Cloistered Youth. Okay, let's get into this Besieged pack, huh? Gargoyle, a Choking Fumes, a Gore Vassal, oh, now this disappoints me, Magnetic Mine, that's lame, <laughs> but there's a foil, so we'll see, a Germ Token, a Planes, and a Foil Master's Call, wow, that was disappointing. Maybe that's why it was the last pack on the shelf. Uh, first time I've disappointed this this evening. So, got two foils, a one-eyed scarecrow, and a foil master's call. Got a uh, magnetic mine, which will be going right into my trade binder because someone might want it. A Stancia blood hall. A Mind Shrieker, an Elder of Laurels, Grim Grim, Cor Grim Grin Corpseborn, a Blasphemous Act, a Stony Silence, Back from the Brink, Falconrath Marauders, and the Witchbane Orb. All right, YouTube, uh, that has been my fat pack slash single booster bo booster pack of uh, Besieged opening. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, um, and hit me up for trades and whatnot. Till next time.